Hello everyone, it's Kathy here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a full moon releasing reading for you. And um, today we have the full moon in Aquarius and also the lunar eclipse. So we have a lot of um, energy that's out there that we are going to see what we can do to um, what we want to manifest in our life and also what we want to release. Um, and by release, I mean get rid of things that are no longer serving you, things that might be toxic, whether that be people, relationships, jobs, or even just negative thinking. Okay, so we can't manifest anything new until we release the old. Okay, so that's what this full moon is all about. So we're going to do a releasing spread here. And it's going to tell us what we need to let go of, basically. I'm using the um, Rider Waite Tarot deck. And we're going to get an advice card from the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. Um, the full moon is in the sign of Aquarius. So for um, any Aquarius signs out there, you might feel this, you might be a little bit more uncomfortable during this stage. Um, also, Aquarius is an air sign. So for me, I feel like thing a lot of the things that need releasing are um, thoughts, negative thoughts or limiting, restricting thoughts, but we're going to see what the cards say. Now, um, the full moon does affect each sign a little bit differently. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description box where you can go and read how it very specifically affects your sign. Okay. And again, this is just a general reading. Um, if it resonates with you, please subscribe, like, and share and comment. I love to read all your comments and I really appreciate them. Um, if it does not resonate with you, you can always contact me for a personal reading and I'll leave the info down in the description box. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first card we have, um, this is our general energy for where you're at right now. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so for a lot of you, I feel like you've been um, in a, a, a situation or or a series of situations where you've had to fight. You've had to fight um, to get where you're at right now. Okay. You can see this man has a bandage on his head. He's He's been wounded. So I feel like a lot of you have been hurt. Um, you may have been wounded. There may have been um, somebody or something that's hurt you in the past. But you haven't given up. Okay. You're still standing, you're still fighting. Um, and this is, um, wands is all about, um, action and energy and passion and drive and what drives us. So I feel like the thing that you're fighting for, you're very, very, very passionate about. Okay. It's something that's really dear to your heart and that's why you haven't given up. Okay. Um, and, and I do believe that things, good things, um, they don't come easy and sometimes they're worth fighting for. Okay. So you've, you've been very persistent. You've been very dedicated. Um, and maybe this person or this situation has hurt you in some way or disappointed you. Um, but you're not giving up on them. Okay. And you're also not giving up on yourself. So this is a great card to start with. Um, I do feel in a negative sense, I feel like we are, um, a lot of us are feeling defensive right now, um, because we have been hurt. So there might be a little bit of a defensive attitude. Um, we have our guard up a little bit, so we're not, we're not open to letting, um, too many people or situations in right now because we have been hurt and wounded. So we're a little bit untrustworthy, um, with this card. I feel like the energy is 
not so much in a movement like it should be. Um, and that's because we're kind of, honestly, we're kind of tired. We're emotionally tired. Um, I feel like a lot of you out there are physically tired, but also emotionally tired from fighting so hard for whatever this cause is. Okay. So, so you're kind of like taking a break and this is a perfect time to do it during the full moon. Take a deep breath, you know, relax, regroup, um, take a knee if you have to, but, um, get back up and continue your fight. Okay. So let's continue on. Our next card we have is what we need to let go of, what we need to release. All right. <clears throat> so we have the eight of wands reverse. Again, we have wands. Okay. But this is reverse. So this tells me that um, there's there hasn't been a lot of action lately. And again, I think in that Aquarius mindset, there's been a lot of thinking. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are taking a time out. You've been thinking, you've been contemplating what your next move is. And that's okay. That's, that's good. Um, I don't think you should act without thinking and where, where you really know where you really want to go. Um, but also with this card, I feel like there's a lack of direction. There's also been a lack of communication for some, um, if this is a per specific person you're dealing with, there has been maybe a complete stop in communication. And that can be coming from both parties. Um, could be that you're kind of at a stalemate. Um, there's been a, maybe some harsh words said. There's been some, some hurt. And you're just not sure how to proceed. Okay. So I'm feeling like this is something you need to release. And by release it, I mean you need to turn it around and let the communication start again. Okay. There are things that have not been said that need to be said. Okay. And I'm feeling this for a lot of people and also very strongly feeling this in romantic relationships or, um, the area of love. I'm feeling like there's a lot of feelings that have been held back. Um, or if somebody has hurt you, you haven't told them how, that they've hurt you. I just feel like there's been a lot of unfinished business, things that have not been said. Okay. And this is the time to let it out. Okay. It's not going to do you any good to hold it in. Let it out. Um, be honest with it. Doesn't mean you have to be mean or spiteful. Um, everybody appreciates honesty and that's the only way you can move forward. So, um, Let's, let's let go of holding that back and, um, with, with doing this also, it's going to help you decide where the next step is, which direction to go with this. Okay. Cause wands is all about action and movement. And when it's in the reverse, there's no action. There's no movement. In fact, you're going, you're kind of going backwards. Okay. So, um, we need to, it's, it's, I, I feel like you've had enough time to think um, you've been meditating, you've been thinking, you've been praying about the situation, and I feel like now is the time to act. Okay? So, let's see what we have next. Okay. Next is something that we have learned, or that we are in the process of learning, and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay? And the Knight of Cups um, is about offering up your emotions. All right, so I feel for some of you, this has been very, very difficult. Um, you know what your emotions are, but you have trouble expressing them, okay? And this night is all about sharing his cup, and that cup is love. That cup is, um, doesn't have to be romantic love, but it can be, um, but it's emotion. It's, it's offering your love to somebody else, okay? And not being afraid of of what's going to um happen after that. So this this is I feel like something that you're still in the process for a lot of you that you're learning. Um but with this <clears throat> um with this 
when we turn this around, this is we're able to um, get the communication going in the right direction. Okay, and also with this knight, I feel like he's very he or she um, is very in touch with their emotions. Okay, so you know, really know what you want, and um, you're not afraid to express it. Okay. Next card we have is something that is a blessing. And we have the High Priestess. Okay, this is a great card. And the High Priestess talks about our intuition. And I feel like for a lot of people, um, you've been trusting your intuition more. Um, Aquarius is a sign of intellect and thinking. And you, you might struggle between head and heart okay so I feel like for a lot of people there's a very important head or heart decision that needs to be made okay and the high priestess is here to tell us that it's okay to trust your intuition because your intuition is always right um, the intuition is linked to the the heart and um, there there's nothing can go wrong when you follow your heart even if it doesn't seem logical at the time, okay? So, trust your high priestess, follow your intuition. All right, the next card we have is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And this is something that you aspire to, aspire for, or dream for, all right? And what the Four of Pentacles in reverse talks about is being able to let go of things. So this is very, very appropriate for this reading. Um, now, pentacles typically have to do with money, and it can be a situation where you may have been afraid of losing money. But for most of you, I'm feeling like this is more of an emotional thing. Um, fear of letting go of your emotions and fear of expressing your emotions. Okay, <clears throat> but with the Knight of Cups, um, it's saying that it's okay. This is something that um, doesn't come as naturally to some people. Um, but with the full moon, I mean, you can hold it in for so long, but it's never, it's not going to go away. Just because you don't express it, it's not going to go away. Okay, guys? So it's, it's okay to express it. All right? So next card we have is uh, your next step. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a wonderful card. Um, now for some of you, this can mean um, that you are ready to be single. Okay, so if you are in a relationship and it might have been a toxic relationship, it might have been um, an unbalanced relationship, this is you um, being okay with being alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like you're very, very hardworking. Um, you're very independent. And you aspire to be able to be this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a great energy to have. Um, again, it might mean letting go of a toxic relationship. And that's okay. Um... I feel like this 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 full moon is definitely a time of letting go if it doesn't serve you anymore, if it doesn't make you happy, then you need to let it go. Okay, so for our next card, we have the final um, outcome or the final advice is the judgment card. So this is perfect. Um, this tells us the judgment is all about a new beginning, a rebirth, okay? Um, it's almost like you've had an epiphany and you're like, oh my gosh, I realized that I love this person or I realized that I am not happy in this relationship or I realize what I want to do with the rest of my life. Like I have the answers and this might have come from uh, meditating or prayer or just, um, you know, from a divine source, but it's like you've been asleep for a while. And I feel like you're finally starting to wake up. So this is a great card. Um, again, it's a rebirth. It's a renewal. Um, if you are in a good relationship, this is going to be an, a, a, 
a step to the next level. So an even better renewal of, of the relationship. So great card. Um, for our final card, we have a vice card. Choose a new direction. That is a beautiful card. And I think this suits, suits the reading very well. Um, it's time for a change. I feel for a lot of you, you've been stuck in a situation that no longer serves you. And it's time for a change. Choose a new direction. And how do you know which direction to choose? Well, of course, you want to trust your high priestess. You want to trust your intuition. And you want to do what is led to you um, through your intuition and through your heart, whatever that tells you. Okay, guys, that concludes your reading, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a wonderful full moon, and if you would like a personal reading, please contact me, and I will see you in about two weeks.